Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a two looks, one palette with this ColourPop palette. It's the What the Shell palette. Um, first time using this, but I have not had good experience with the clear packaging. And also I just saw Morgan Turner's rank palette ranking video. And these palettes were in it and this one and the next episode one that I'm going to be doing is called the Shell Shock palette. We're at the bottom, so I'm kind of scared because I didn't like the extra celestial ones, and I kind of had a feeling I wasn't gonna like these ones, but I had to get it. See, this one, the color story didn't intrigue me as much. The shell shocked one, it did. I did bring out a couple of palettes to try to make this palette work if I have to. This is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette five. Um, it's pa the eyeshadow palette tens, but it's the palette five number. I don't think that she makes these anymore though. I think you can get it at Sephora still, maybe. I also brought out the Perfusion Mattes palette, and I have the Alter Ego Sahara palette for the mirror. This has just been my go-to palette off-camera, so that's why it's been kind of like... it's. It literally has been sitting like right here by my desk, well, by my bed on my desk, and I've just been kind of like reaching for it for the mirror. So let's get into it. I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in C0 to prime my lid. I have not been wearing makeup, which is weird. I'm taking a step back from makeup for a lot of personal reasons, but the biggest one is that I am, I'm surrogacying, I'm pregnant, so there it is, yep. Okay, I have even bases, so let's kind of do this. I'm trying to figure out what kind of a look to go for, um... I, the, one of the reasons I hate this palette so much, these palettes so much, is because they don't give you enough mattes. They give you sequins and shimmers. Personally, the shimmer, the sequins, you can like, get rid of those, and I wish they would just put regular mattes in, because that would at least make the matte to shimmer ratio a little bit better. Um, because that's a shimmer, that's a shimmer, that's a shimmer, that's a shimmer, and that's a shimmer. But I think what I'm going to try and do is maybe do a look centered around this shade right here. And maybe incorporate those two shades, and then on the other eye, incorporate these two shades. Did I prick that with my finger? I must have. Because it looks like it's been used. Well, I'll get used to it. I'm going to take, first off, this shade right here. It's going to be called, it's called Made You Smile on my Wet n Wild Rebel Rose crease brush okay wow nom uh uh let's try another brush to see if we get the same results because then we'll know for sure it's the shade and actually i am getting the same results not very pigmented at all and actually quite patchy so for a transition shade I don't I don't want patching so that sucks a lot oh that really sucks and I have other videos I was going to film today too I was, I was planning to use this palette for the rest of the day and do a look for the rest of the day but I might have to rethink that Okay, so I think I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Miss Da Beach. Miss Da Beach? Miss Da Beach. I think that's what this shade's called, at least. I'm confused. Okay. I'm just going to work with it. We're just going to work with it. Placing it on the outer edge. Oh my god, I'm not having good luck. Like, I'm like on the lid it blended fine, but in the crease it's just like <laughs> blending weird. Can you see? Can you see that weird patch? I've already decided I don't like this palette, and I hope that Shell Shocked is better. Alright, I'm going to take the shade Check Yourself. 
on my finger because I believe it's a super shock shade. It's kind of like a rose gold shade. Honestly, it's not the Super Shock formula that I love in the little pots. Because, like, the, those ones, like, are perfect. Alright, um... Not... I'm not kidding. This look, honestly. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to take the shade I see you here. I really want to see this as an inner corner highlight. And then I'm going to change it up probably on the other eye. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It makes me wonder if maybe that Super Shock shade would apply better with a brush, which goes against... This is going to blow my mind. I can feel it. I'm going to have to try the Extra Celestials um, palette. Because I hate them for the, the reason that they're not very pigmented. And that Super Shock, those Super Shock shades don't work well. But that actually just blew my mind. Super Shocks actually, in my opinion, work better with the finger. So... That's crazy. I'm going to take this shade here called Sexy Back, and that is going on my brow bone as a kind of like brow bone highlight because I just want to see how deep it is. I mean, I don't think that these shades are necessarily meant to be brow bone highlights, but I mean, that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just taking this crease brush that I was using earlier. I was wiping it off quite a bit so that way there's no product on it, and... I'm gonna blend, or at least attempt to blend. You know, I'm gonna finish this eye off camera. <sighs> okay, so I actually like where this look ended up. So what I ended up doing was taking this metallic shade right here called True Gold from Natasha Denona, and I put it as a brow bone highlight because that regular highlight was just not working for me. And all I did was take the two matte shades on the lower lash line and like I said this look is actually giving me hope because it's better than what I thought the mats still need work but we're ready for the next look okay I did clean this um, crease brush off quite a bit so we are going into the lightest sequin shade which is this shade right here washed up very powdery very powdery. Very powdery. And we're going to put that in the crease. Uh, wow. So this one's not really showing up at all either. Uh, not really liking this. That's just my opinion. I'm allowed to have an opinion. I'm going to take this shade here called Swim In. And, uh, kind of do this. Carissa. liking that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade here, which I believe is called Served, and put that on the outer portion of my lid. Okay, never mind, because it did not stick. Try it with a finger. No. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so this is a trick I picked up just in my off time of using ColourPop products. I'm going to take this Hard Candy Color Corrector Stick. This is the peach one. 
because my lid has set. It is set. And I have found that some ColourPop shimmer shades just won't stick unless you have a tacky base. And I think that that's one of them. So now we're going to try it and we're going to find out. All right, taking this shade for the third time. Much better. Finally, I want to take this pink shade here called Exist on my finger as well and put that on the inner portion of my lid. Alright, I'm gonna go back and forth and just make sure these are melting into each other and blending. Right. Just the way I wanted it to. Alright, I'm just gonna go back in with that brush brush I used earlier and take this shade sexy back. I told you guys I was going to switch it up. I'm going to put Sexy Back as the inner corner highlight. Yeah, that definitely works better as an inner corner highlight. Which inner corner highlight are you feeling, though? I kind of like them both. Now I want to try I See You as brow bone highlight. What's wrong, Trudy Wordy? Okay, so that works a little bit better as a brow bone highlight than the other one did. So I would recommend that one probably. Blend this out. Okay. I don't like this eye though. That I will have to tell you guys right now. Not a fan of this eye look. Okay, so I finished this off with a black liner. Please don't be mad. I am so over this palette, but I had to take um, this shade here, which I believe is called Nina's Orchid and then Aubergine. Um, so <laughs> Nina's Orchid and then Aubergine on the outer corner. I just, I'm overworking with this palette. I do not like these two shades and these two shades, which are the shades I used on the other eye. Every other shade I used was just fine because I definitely am feeling this eye for sure. But let me know what you guys are feeling. I'm going to be feeling this eye. This is obviously the one I am more geared towards, more leaning towards, or this eye. Let me know what you guys think, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'm going to end it here. I look ridiculous, don't I? <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to end it here. So like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that social media great stuff. Of course, remember that it costs you nothing to support this channel. All right, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, you guys. By the way, do you guys like his PJs? They're brand new.